Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ben. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so I see a lot of uh, uniform. Is it uniform? Yeah. Okay, so tell me what you do. Tell me what is your business. Uh, we do sport. We do customer submission sports team well. Let me let me show you what uniforms we do. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Please, please. We do all kinds of sports team team well. The hockey jerseys. Okay, hockey. Mm. Yeah, hockey. And the baseball. Baseball, okay. Yeah, and uh, football. Football. When you yeah. say football, it is a uh, ruby, ruby, ruby. Uh, not the something. Amer yeah. Um right. America football. Okay, okay. Is it basketball? Okay. Yeah, basketball. Okay. And the uh, rugby. Rugby, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Sounds like you do a lot of uniform for a uh, sport that is very common in uh, America. So is that your main market in America? Yeah, our main market is in the uh, America and uh, Europe. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, now I see that you have different logo in, in the uniform. Is it uh, customized? Yeah, all, all of our jerseys are customized, including the including the designs, hmm. logos, and player name and numbers. Okay, so is that the the customer just need to send you uh, the logo and then uh, you will print the have uh, print everything for them? Yes, yeah, send us the logo and the designs. Okay. Uh, so what is the process you do for this uh, customization? Is it uh, sales screening? No, we do submission printing. Submission printing. So how does it look like? Uh, so here is our one of major product, baseball uniform. They yeah. made by submission printing. Okay. You can see the logos, the numbers, mm -hmm. they all for submitted the printing. Okay, so can you show me the uh, submission process, please? You have this in your factory, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me show you our factory. Okay, good. So the the this is the showroom, and then you have the factory just next door. Yeah, the factory is just behind uh, the showroom. Okay. So the. Here is our sewing team and packing and uh, okay. So you can see all all our orders shipped by DHL. Okay. These these are the already packed and ready to ship. Okay. Okay. So most of your your uh, jersey bought out by Express Korea DHL. Yeah. Because of the small quantity. So here is our submission printing rule. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. This is a submission sub submission printing. This is is the sided printing and then we we hit transfer the paper to the fabric. Okay, so first you print the paper and then you do heat transfer from the paper to the fabric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, clear. clear. So where is the heat transfer? Okay. Where, where, where you do the heat transfer? Heat transfer is in on the other room. Okay, are you going to show me? Here is our transfer. Oh. Yeah, this is our heat transfer. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I see. Very good. Yeah, we have two transform machines. So the capacity of uh, the jerseys is three thousand pieces per day. Three thousand pieces per day. So, so yeah, let's go back to the um to the showroom and then we continue continue the business discussion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I can see you're quite busy now. 
Yeah. Good. So are you affected by the by the by the coronavirus attack this time? How's the business lately? You mean you mean who is our customers? Yeah, right. Uh, the virus and then a lot of things is locked down, then uh, people don't really go out too much. So does it affect your business? I'm sorry. What? It's okay. It's okay. Let's let's go past this then. Okay, so I I back to our showroom. Yes, right. Okay, so my um. Okay, uh, my question is that I uh, see you just talk about the capacity uh of your mm -hmm. sublimation process is like three thousand pieces per day, right? Mm -hmm. So can I ask you what is uh, the yes, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, yeah. The 3,000 pieces is just the capacity of the transport, transport printing. And the, the final product, the final jersey is the, the capa capa capacity of the final jersey is 1,000 pieces per day. Okay, I think this is not too bad already. Uh, you have, and this, this one you can increase by uh, having more, uh, you know, it's more man made process. Is uh is you just need to increase the number of labor ship, then you can, you can raise the uh, final capacity. So I don't think it's a problem. So it's normally limited by the the machine. So the machine go three thousand. That is three thousand. But I think yeah. the more the point is like the you are doing uniform. Then the, as the uniform, the problem is that they normally come with a very uh, small quantity. If I understood correct, mm -hmm. but you have mm -hmm. teams. Then the teams normally have uh, less than fifty number of people, I guess. So what is your real MOQ? If your customer want to order from you, how much do they at least need to order from you? Our MOQ is 10 pieces. 10 pieces, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah okay, that makes yeah. a lot of good sense then. All right, 10 pieces. So um, you can have the name of the prayer on the mm -hmm. phone? Logo, yeah. No, I mean the Logo, name. The name. The name. Mm -hmm. For example, there is John, there is John, there is Peter, there is David, mm -hmm. and there is mm -hmm. so you put their name on the uniform. Yeah, we do individual player name and numbers for for every piece of jerseys. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I think this is an important message to uh, to talk about. Okay, um, then I will put myself on your customer um, side. I I I would believe that. Uh, for small teams, your customer, mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. may have problems when they find out the, mm -hmm. the quality is not as much as they wanted. So mm -hmm. how do you handle the quality complaint uh, so far? Um, we always have the good cooperation with, cooperation with our customers and we trust them. When they, when they complain with us, we always fix them as to as Possible. And for the printing, if for the printing issues, we also fix them when the customer send us the photos of the issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see, I see. So that, that's understandable. But when you say customer, they are not uh, a regular school team or club, I guess, because they are not normally a, a recurring customer. So who, who, what kind of people is your customer? Who are you working with? Uh, our customer is sports wheel companies, clubs, schools, okay. teams, and the community. Okay. You mentioned about sport wheel company, right? The local mm -hmm. small yeah. sport wheel company that serve the local teams. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see, I see. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I think I get uh, all the information I need. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ben. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.